Hey guys, Jim here from Jim's Tech. Today I've got a review of the SanDisk Extreme Pro uh, USB 3.1 solid state drive. This is a 128 gigabyte version. Cool thing about this drive, it does have a three, uh, 420 megabyte read speed and 380 megabyte write speed. I picked it up from Amazon for 69 US when it was on sale. Currently I think it's 79.99. I will throw a link in the description. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and open it up and have a look. Okay, so let's open this up. So we've got a Rescue Pro Deluxe is recovery software for the digital media, recovers images, video and stuff. Okay, so let's put that to the side and let's grab the USB stick itself. So this is an aluminium construction, which will help with heat dissipation. So it says SanDisk USB 3.1. The mechanism for extending and retracting, it's quite nice. On the back, we've got Extreme Pro USB 3.1. As you can see, it's a 128 gigabyte version. It does also come in 256, which is quite cool. It does have a key ring holder point as well. Now, the reason I purchased this was uh, when I go to friends places and I need to copy stuff, I never had a drive on me. Trying to carry a USB stick, is uh, sorry, a USB hard drive, you know, too bulky to carry. So this one with the with the read and write speeds as well, just made it more practical to have. So we'll go. I'll go ahead and grab my computer. We'll plug it in. I'll run Blackmagic and we'll try copying some files and we'll see how we go. So just give me a moment while I set up my computer. Okay, guys. So I've just grabbed my computer. We'll go ahead and plug the drive into the USB port. And let it get detected. Okay, so we'll open up uh, Black Magic now, and we'll run a quick speed test on it. So we'll leave it five gig. We'll go to make sure that it's on Untitled, and we'll hit start. Now the write speeds on the box it said that it can write up to 380 megabytes a second. We're getting around 343 at the moment, and the read speeds were up to 420, where this is sitting at 392. We'll let it run a couple of times and see if the figures drop at all. So, no, it seems to be hovering around the same time, which is quite good. Doesn't seem to be fluctuating too much. Again, 391. Okay, so we'll go ahead and stop that now. And what I'll do is I've got two files, or I've got two things to copy over. So the first one is just a single 10.5 gig file. And then the other one's just multiple files that equals around 10.6 gigs. We'll copy them over and see how long they take. And I'll use the activity monitor on the Mac to see what the read and write speeds are. So we'll go ahead and copy this one in first, the single file. So it's saying in less than a minute. And if we open... Okay, so activity monitor doesn't want to work. There we go. Um, so the read and write speeds seem to be sitting around the 400 mark, which is quite good. And that was finished very fast. All right, we'll try now the bigger file and see what happens here. Okay, so this again saying less than a minute. Read and write speeds a little bit slower this time. Oh no, it's still picking up again, so it's still it's hovering around the 350 megabytes, dropping about to 239 every now and again. The heat of the drive, it's very not I wouldn't say even warm, but you can feel it has got a bit of heat to it, but not too bad. Sorry. Um, and considering that it's copied 20 gigs that fast, that was quite good. Uh, we'll go ahead now and I'll move these to the bin. And what we'll do is we'll copy it back the other way and see if it's any different. So once again, this time around we're getting faster speeds again. So it's going 500 to 498. 
drop to 427 but still sitting there and we'll do the multiple one as well just for a bit of fun again less than a minute and read and write are hovering around the 380 mark and jumping every now and again up to 400 so you've got to consider now that we've copied 20 gigs to it and then 20 gigs back off it again and speed doesn't seem to be affected I'm very impressed with this drive. I know for, you know, um, what was it, for $80 US, it is an expensive drive, but for, you know, you're getting 128 gigabytes, you're getting faster than normal portable hard drive read and write speeds. So I'd say it's actually worth it to buy this. Um, well, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give a thumbs up. Also, feel free to subscribe as I will be posting more videos in the future. Uh, thank you.